All right, this is a crash course into the new CareStream system. As you log in, it's going to look very similar to it did, as the way it did before. You're going to start with the Archive Explorer screen. New Pan and New Pan 2 will be the new servers that we're going to use. Search, All Patients, All Studies, Unread, Teaching File are all going to appear as they did before. Same for searching. It's going to pull up a list of exams. Double clicking on any of the exams is going to pull up the images in the viewer. We'll start with this first one. There's the image. Now, a few things you're going to notice are different. Across the top here, all of your tabs are going to be different. All the buttons that used to be showing on one screen are now hidden in the tabs image, graphics, layout, comparison, DP, export, search, and the funnest one, my tab, but we'll get to that later. If you're in the image, tab. You're going to have the magnifying glass, the hand, window level adjustments, inversion of the image, flip and rotation, same as you always would. Graphics are where all of the doctor's measurement tools are hidden. Under layout is where you'll decide how many image boxes you want per screen. Comparison is linking images, which we don't really do. Export is where you'll go to print. When you're in export, the arc, the film viewer is the same icon as before. It's going to pull up the same blank box and you're going to drag the images into it that you want to print. Those images are located on the bottom of the screen here on the strip mini archive explorer. Every exam that the patient has had done is listed down here. If you would like to view these in full size next to the red X, is the icon for the patient mini archive. You click that and it's going to pull up a much larger screen that gives them all listed by date and spreads out the images for you to see. At the top here is an arrow with a little film strip. That is strip mode that returns it down to the bottom of the viewing screen. To print, pull up the print preview screen and select from the strip the images that you want to load. Grab the all-in-one and drag over and you're going to hit print just like you did before. Nice and simple. Now, the exciting part about this is my tab. My tab now is blank. If you do a lot of magnifying, go to images and go to the magnifier, right click and add to my tab. Same with window leveling, add to my tab. You rotate a lot, add to my tab. These are now located under one tab so you don't have to search through the others to find what you're looking for. You can add anything on there that you want, including the export print screen. So all of the tools that you use are located on one tab. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. The icons are the same, everything that it does is the same, just the layout and where you go to find them is a little different. If you have any questions, of course you can call me and I'll help walk you through it.